Man, your humble hip hop sales coach Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard today we are kicking off a very very special show. I got my fellow Brooklyn night. I just found out she is from Brooklyn. Whoop, whoop, bop, bop, whoop. You already know how we do, ladies and gentlemen. We have ladies and the stamp coach T. Give a round of applause for Coach T, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have the sound effects and all that shit in the background, people. You already know I'm I'm a, I'm gonna turn up all the way. So I am so excited to have you on here. Thank you, Coach T, for being on and setting off. This is actually the continuation of the Queen Edition. Believe it or not, um, when I first did the Queen Edition, I was only able to get uh, two women. Oh wow! So. I was like, damn, that, that's not a real season for Queen Edition. And I was like, all right, let me reach out to more of the sisters out here that's really making an impact. And I remember when I first saw you, you had a billboard in light. And I was like, hold up, hold, stop the oh, oh, press. Okay, okay. Who, who okay. is this person with a billboard standing in front of it like, what up? Right? right, and you know I was so, so it, extra. Yeah, right, right, and it, I was so Brooklyn. impressed. <laughs> I was so impressed with you on, on on that alone because I was like, this person went above and beyond uh, the call of duty on this one. So, Coach T, please tell the ladies and gentlemen who you are and what you do. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you. Yes. So, I am excited to be here because I have been following you as well. You know, in the notary world, we follow each other, especially um, because we look for guidance. So it, it was such a pleasure when you reached out to me. I was like, oh, me? You talking to me? <laughs> um, so I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to share with your team. So my name is Tanika. That's why they say Coach T. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I live in Georgia. Um, I've been here for maybe about 13 years, but I've always been a notary. I just, at the beginning of the time when I was a notary, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know that you can do anything but be at your job and stamp some documents. So that's, that's kind of how I started until I started teaching myself and learning along the way, finding people doing different things. And it was like, oh, you can do more than mm. just this, right? Um, but of course, you know, you can't do it if your job is paying for it. So you Correct. have to do things on your own. Um, okay. So, you know, it took me a while to kind of step out of that and be comfortable enough to get away from that, mm -hmm. from that employee mentality and turn it into something that I can do on my own. Okay. But nevertheless, I'm here. Um, I'm excited to be here. I actually been a notary since 2009. Okay. It's been a long time. Um, but I didn't really step into this whole, you know, boss business thing until maybe 2019. Nice. Yep. So, so what do you specialize in exactly? So I actually <laughs> specialize in mobile notary and notary signing agent work. Um, so I kind of, I do the transition. So you mm -hmm. start with the notary work, of course, because you can't do notary signing agent work without being a notary. And then I step into the notary signing agent. So it's kind of like a two-step process with me. So that's sure. pretty much where my specialty lies. I've studied so much about being a notary and what it takes and the laws that I ended up starting to study everybody else's state, just not just mine. <laughs> so that's how I was able to make it global. And the good thing that um, when I started following you and tech for that matter, um, I noticed you both guys talk a lot about automation. So that's what caught my attention. And it was just like, yes, that's, that's the way I'm going with it. And so okay. sometimes you have to take that and learn how to, you know, hear what other people have to say and kind of collaborate with other people, learn their techniques or or just get some ideas from them. And that's how I started following you guys. Cause it was like, okay, I'm only one person, but I'm learning everybody else's state. Like it's gotta be more to this. <laughs> it's gotta be more to me just being right here in Georgia. <laughs> Especially since I'm from New York, because then people reaching out to me from New York, like, hey, and I'm like, well, I'm actually in Georgia. Right, <laughs> like, right. Oh, so you can't help me here? I can. <laughs> so, oh, we help us. Right, exactly. So I, it, it made me do the stretch. 
and got me out of my own comfort zone because not only am I learning Georgia laws, it was challenging me to know just globally what mm. you have to do as a notary. So I became uh, really good at having classes that have a diverse. And so it would be a class full of people from Cali, uh, Virginia, Detroit, New York, um, Texas. And so it, it helped me grow as well. But nevertheless, I specialize in teaching notaries as a whole so that we're not getting caught up in this loophole with going to jail or uh, getting charged for things or not knowing what we need. Hmm. Now, now that that's uh, really interesting because Georgia is an attorney state. And <clears throat> anytime I'm talking to, to notaries in Georgia, there's there's a high level of fear there because it's like, oh my God, I can get in trouble for this. I can get in trouble for that. How do I uh, charge for this? How do you navigate around that to actually make money? Because the Georgia laws technically doesn't allow you to make any bread. Oh, 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 I love this question because you don't understand what my DMs look like and I start to ignore I them.